Have you just been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and you don't really understand what's going on and you want a simple explanation? And this is the video for you. Why am I qualified to talk about this? Well, my name is John Collett. And in March 2018, I got diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and within six months, I managed to reverse my condition naturally. And I want to help you do the same thing. So what is type 2 diabetes in a simple form? Well, to first understand what type 2 diabetes is, you need to understand how your body used to work before you got diagnosed. Whenever we eat food, that food gets turned into energy and the experts, they call that glucose. Okay, that glucose then goes through our bloodstream into our body. We have then got millions of cells in our body that want to absorb that glucose for energy. But it can't do it by us itself. So what happens is the pancreas produces a hormone called insulin. And that insulin goes into our bloodstream and it tells the cells to absorb that energy. Once the cells are full of energy, that energy then gets stored in our liver and in our muscles and then into our fat cells for energy usage later when the cells in our body are empty of energy. How does your body work as a type two diabetic? Well, you eat your food, it gets turned into glucose, goes into your bloodstream, your pancreas produces the insulin to tell the cells to absorb the energy, but the cells ignore it. And this is known as insulin resistance. The other issue that you've got right now is that, that all of that glucose is still in your bloodstream. And that is what's causing your sugar levels to spike. And what your pancreas does at this point it produces more insulin to try and get the cells to absorb that energy. And this is a bit like revving the accelerator of your car with the handbrake on. What's gonna happen eventually is the engine's gonna break. And this is the same for your pancreas. Your pancreas will no longer be able to produce enough insulin. And this is why the sooner you start dealing with your insulin resistance or your type two diabetes, the easier it is. Now the other challenge you've got right now is because those cells are not absorbing that er energy, what the insulin does, because it is a fat storage hormone, it stores all of that uh, glucose as fat in your body for energy usage later. And this can cause all manner of other complications. Now, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not gonna be explain to you how, what all those complications are. I'm gonna introduce you to my good friend, Dr. Snow White Benson. She has a YouTube channel which explains all these medical terms in simple, simple terms. I can't tell you how much I've learned from her. Let's get into it. Here is Dr. Snow White Benson to explain the complications of type two diabetes. Thank you, John. You are so correct that if you don't take care of your diabetes, there are some nasty complications that may happen. Complications that are usually caused by damage to the small blood vessels of your body. If the damage occurs in the vessels of the retina of your eye, this is called diabetic retinopathy. The small vessels breaking cause bleeding in the back of your eye and this can cause a permanent decrease in eyesight or even blindness. When the blood vessels of your kidneys break, you can develop nephropathy or kidney disease. And if enough of the kidney tissue is damaged, you may end up on dialysis or even need a kidney transplant. Neuropathy is the disease that may develop when the vessels are damaged near the nerve endings causing nerve damage. Peripheral neuropathy is nerve damage in the feet and hands 
that may cause tingling, burning, pain, or numbness. And if you can't feel your feet, you may not know when you have injured the bottom of your foot and you can develop an infection. Because uncontrolled sugary blood doesn't circulate well, it can't remove infected and dead tissue from the area and can't bring in the nutrients and oxygen to the area so that your body can heal the infection. Left untreated, a minor infection can quickly develop into a major infection and even into gangrene, which may lead to amputation. It is important to look at the bottoms of your feet every day to catch an infection early to prevent complications. Amputations usually start with one or two toes, but because the infection is difficult to heal, it may progress to half a foot, then the whole foot, then just below the knee and possibly higher. Nerve damage can also occur in your stomach that may lead to decreased ability to move food out of the stomach and on down the way. This is called gastroparesis or paralyzed stomach. If food can't move out of your stomach, it can cause extreme nausea and vomiting and loss of appetite. If the nerve damage occurs lower in the digestive tract, you may end up having diarrhea or constipation and may have difficulty voiding your bowels. Also, you may lose the ability to feel when your bowels need to be emptied, leading to accidents. If your bladder is affected, you may develop incontinence. You may have increased urinary tract infections, kidney stones, dribbling of urine, and you can lose the ability to know when your bladder is full. Diabetic neuropathy may also cause impotence or erectile dysfunction. If nerve damage occurs in your ear, you can have hearing loss to the point of complete deafness. If vessel damage occurs in your heart, you can have a heart attack or congestive heart failure. A heart attack is the blockage of a heart vessel so that the blood that carries oxygen to the heart muscle is cut off, causing part of the muscle to die off. If the wrong area or too large of an area dies off, you may die off. A person with diabetes is two and a half times more likely to develop congestive heart failure or CHF than a person without diabetes. Congestive heart failure occurs when your heart muscle is no longer strong enough to pump blood throughout your body. CHF can cause fatigue, weakness, shortness of breath, even if you are at rest, irregular heartbeat, and swelling of your legs and feet, which is called edema. If diabetes damages the vessels in your brain, it may kill off a part of your brain. This is called a stroke. Depending on the area the stroke occurs in, it may leave you with very little damage or it may kill you. Unfortunately, damage in between these two extremes may leave you unable to speak, unable to walk, and unable to care for yourself. Diabetes has also been associated with Alzheimer's disease and vascular dementia. Vascular dementia from the lack of blood supply to the brain due to insulin resistance can impair memory, language, and other thought processes. This list of complications that may occur shows that death isn't the worst thing that can happen to a person who has diabetes. But if you take care of yourself and get the diabetes under control, even reverse it as John has, these problems are absolutely avoidable. It's all dependent on the choices you make. Thank you, Dr. Snow White Benson. Please, if you enjoyed what she had to say, and please give her YouTube channel a subscribe. I'll stick a link in the description below. Give it a click and go see what her channel is all about. The good news is, if you want to avoid all of those complications, you can. We've got a 12-week program called Reversing Type 2 Diabetes. And if you want to avoid all those com complications, but in a natural way, then go to the description below, click on the link. You'll be taken to my website, stick your name and your email address in there, and I'll send you a masterclass 
that we that I have done that tells you all about the five steps that our clients take to reverse their type 2 diabetes naturally. Give this video a subscribe, give it a like and give me a charge in the comments below. I'm going to put a list here all about type 2 diabetes and a button here for you to give us a subscribe. And don't forget people. You're not a number. You're a rhino. Now charge. Thank you.